Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure VLAN access to the internet on the Cisco ASA. Okay, for in this video, I'm create the two VLAN. Okay, for the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, for the VLAN 10, I'm assigned for the IT and uh, for the VLAN 20, I'm assigned to the HR department. Okay, and then we will to configure or allow the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 access to the internet on the Cisco ASA4 in this video and we will practice uh, this lab on the GNS3 Okay, for the real lab Okay, and then I'm going to the GNS3 I'm going to show you how to configure Okay, this is a lab that we have to configure allow the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 access uh, go through to the Cisco ASA and, and go out to the internet Okay, that you see Okay, so we have two VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 Okay, then we have to create the VLAN on the core suite Okay, and then uh, we configure something for allow the VLAN Asrash Asset go through to the uh, Cisco ASA and go to out outside and uh, go to the internet okay this is a step that we have to do uh, follow our configuration and follow our step that we have to create the VLAN uh, uh, 10 and VLAN 20 on the core suite okay this is a core suite okay set the IP address and assign port or something like that okay and then I'm go to the follow uh, the step one on the core suite create the VLAN. Okay, this is a uh, Cisco ASA and this is a uh, core suite that I'm not yet to the set host name. Okay, I'm go to the core suite and set host name. Uh, I'm set the uh, core suite. Okay, this is a core suite that the first um, create the VLAN. Follow our uh, step. Okay, we learn ten and we learn twenty. Okay, and we learn ten. I'm sign assign them for the IT. Okay, and we learn twenty. I'm assign them for the HR. Okay, HR department, IT department. Okay, and then I'm show you. That Okay, this is the name of the VLAN. Okay, this is the number of the VLAN okay, that we create. 10 for the IT, 20 for the HR. Okay, and then we go uh, for active, active, and the port, the port we not get to assign to the VLAN. Okay, and then we go to the step 2, assign port to the VLAN. Okay, assign port access to the VLAN. Okay, for the port, we assign each and every. Uh, 0 slash 1 to the VLAN 10 and HNS 0 slash 3 for the uh, VLAN 20 and then I'll go to the port HNS 0 slash 0 HNS 0 slash 0 1 ok sorry HNS 0 slash 1 and sweet port post access ok and then sweet port access uh, VLAN 10 ok Okay, follow our scenario. Okay, and then I'm go to the Ethernet zero slash three. Okay, sweet port mode access. Okay, sweet port access. Okay, we have T. Okay, and then I'm show you that again. Okay, that you see, we learn ten. Thank you, port. This code, the port. Okay, MVLAN uh, 20, FQ port is in 0 slash 3. Okay, this port. Okay, this port for the VLAN uh, 20 and uh, this port is in 0 slash 1 for the VLAN IT, VLAN 10. Okay, and then we uh, have to the set IP address on the VLAN. Okay, I'm going to the VLAN, uh, first VLAN 10. Okay, so we set follow this IP. Okay, then I'll go to the VLAN 20. Okay, follow this. 
Okay, this is a port that we assign to the interface Ethernet board. Okay, this is a port that we assign to the interface Ethernet 3 to the VLAN 20 and VLAN 20. Okay, and then I'm scroll down. Okay, this is the IP address that we assign to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, follow this one for the IT and follow this one for the uh, HR. Okay, and then I'm testing ping from the uh, IP at VLAN 10, IT and ping to the IP address at the VLAN 20 at the HR. It will ping or communicate or not. Okay, when we assign IP address and assign port. Okay, I'm going to the window HP client board and ping to the window HP client 3 at this IP. Okay, window HP client board. Okay, I'm going to check the IP again for Windows HP Client 2. Okay. 11, not 10. Okay, 11. Okay, it's working. Okay, this one for the 11. Okay, I'm going to change to the 10. Okay, and then I'm ping from the Windows HP Client 2 to the Windows HP Client 1, it's working or not. Okay, it's working. Okay. Okay, so uh, VLAN 10 can be access to the VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 can access to the VLAN uh, 10. Okay, for the IT, 10 access to the HR and HR access to the IT okay. okay and then I'm ping from the switch to the IP address okay it's working okay it's working also okay for VLAN 10 can access to the uh, gateway of the call switch and call switch can be access also to each other okay so VLAN 10 can access to VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 Okay, okay for the call switch we already okay and then I'm go to the Ethernet zero slash zero and assign IP address and enable the uh, default route for all the all the VLAN can be accessed to the internet. Okay, I'm go to the call switch. Okay, I'm go to the Ethernet zero slash zero. Okay, before you want to the as and assign IP address to the uh, uh, switch layer through you have to tie the common no switch port okay, no switch port uh, this command allow you can uh, assign IP address on the in the point of the call switch way okay okay and then no shot okay and then I'm at the body for rights This is a gateway, okay, for the interface G1 and the Cisco ASA. Okay, for the configuration on the call suite, we already to configure. 
step 1, step 2, and step 3 already. Okay, and then we go to the Cisco ASA. Okay, on the Cisco ASA, we have to follow our step 1 to the 5. Okay, for the step 1, assign IP address and enter name. Okay, and then I'm go to the Cisco ASA. I'm go to the IP address. Assign the press and IP address. The press G bit 1. Okay, by default security level for the interface inside 100. Okay, and then I'm go to the uh, interface G0. Okay, and I see there also. Okay, follow this IP. Okay, for the CPU to T level for the outside by the four zero. Okay, for the IP address and interface name we assigned already. Okay, I'm testing ping uh, to the this IP is working or not. Okay, the connection successfully. Okay, and then I'm ping to the gateway of the internet. Okay. Schedule if it's working or not. Okay, it's working. Okay. okay, for the step uh, one already, and uh, for the step two, you have to uh, enable body for that and uh, configure stuff. Okay, for the step 2, you have to enter body for a for allow all the network access to the internet. Okay, and uh, for the start it out, you have to configure routing to the VLAN, allow the VLAN access to the internet also. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the allow the before I outside. Okay, this in gateway. This is the gateway. Okay, gateway you can allow the gateway that you got it from the ISP. Okay, and then I'm configured the for uh, already for the study route. Study route we allow route for the inside. Okay, for the VLAN. Okay, and then this is a uh, net hotwire address of the other is Okay. Okay, for the default router and the start router, we configure already. Okay, and then I'm testing ping from the VLAN 10 to the, uh, to the interface inside is working or not. Okay, okay and VLAN 20 ping to the interface uh, inside or this IP is it, it, it working or not. Okay, okay, it's working. The condition here you fly. Okay, it's working also. Okay, so uh, the VLAN uh, 10 and VLAN 20 can be accessed access to the interface inside. Okay, but the VLAN 10 and the VLAN 20 are not yet to access to the outside or not yet to access to the internet. Okay, um, so I'm testing ping to the internet. It's working. Okay, the connection is not 
working thing to the internet okay now jet okay so now yet okay because you not yet to the create the object network and enable not allow the class map Okay, and then I'm going to Cisco AHA um, create the object for the step 3. Okay, for the object, I'm create a 3 object. No. Object network LAN. Network is VLAN top VLAN 10 is object network VLAN 20 okay okay for the object network LAN for the our LAN inside Okay, and this one for the VLAN 10 and VLAN 10. So we have to create the three object. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to the create the object network. Okay. Create the object at network and enable now. This is a uh, enable net command for the step four inside to the outside dynamic interface. One more check network for the VLAN and okay, shut. Okay, for the create the object, three object, land, VLAN 10, VLAN 20 already, and and more and not already. Okay, for the last step, they have to allow class map. Okay, for the class map, I'm already the prepare. Okay, this is the command class map. For the command class map, you can download on the internet because we we all the command free. Okay, and then you can contact me and send the uh, command. Plus map to you all. Okay. Plus map command. Okay, and then I copy and pass. Okay. Okay, already. Okay, so I'm uh, testing thing to the internet for the Cisco ASA is working or not. Okay, the successful rate. Okay, 100 percent access to the internet for the Cisco ASA. Okay, so the Cisco ASA can access to the internet. Okay, and then I'm go to the course with thing to the DNS Google. It's working or not? Okay, for the DNS Google also access to the uh, for the course with also access to the internet. Also, okay, and then I'm go to the Windows Vista and one and Windows Vista and two testing thing to the internet also. Okay, before we cannot access to the internet, after we allow the map and create the object and uh, allow the class map is working or not, you can test it. Okay, I'm going to the Google again. Okay, there you see. So, we can ping to the Google. 
before we not yet cannot access after we create the clip uh, object pool object and map and enable the class map everything is working well okay yeah you see so window HP clan 1 and window HP clan 2 can access to internet okay I'm testing open the browser and uh, testing something access to the website example I'm uh, access to the Google Okay, it's working. Okay, example, I'm uh, go to the uh, okay. Okay, I'm over. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm go to the Windows Speed Land one. Okay, I'm open the browser. Okay, I'm go to the YouTube example. YouTube is okay. okay, so um I the Cisco triangle is my channel. Okay, this is a uh, Cisco triangle. This is a uh, playlist for my channel. This is a machinel. You can learn something from machinel. This is called triangle. Okay. Okay. So uh, for the William Ten, can get set to the internet. Okay, and then I go to this one. Okay. Okay. I'm go to the Google. Example, I'm tired. Uh, she's going to see. Okay, there you see. It's working for the billion 10 and billion 20 can uh, set to the internet. Okay, this is the benefit that you have to the create the uh, VLAN and allow the VLAN access to the internet. Go through the Cisco ASA. Okay, this is a uh, show grad for the uh, video. Okay, for the, this video, uh, is you can uh, implement and uh, on the real work. Okay, because uh, have a lot of the company do it the same my video. Okay, load all the villain. So you can uh, allow all create all the object. For example, you have villain ten, villain twenty, villain thirteen and fourteen. You can allow the, all the villain set to the internet. Okay, then you follow. Just follow my configuration. Okay, for in this video, I'm finished. Okay, so you can uh, practice with uh, my lab. Okay, and testing on the GNS3. If you all everything is working, you can implement on the real world. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching my video. Okay, uh, please help me to uh, like and uh, subscribe especially uh, help me to uh, uh, share okay okay you can go to the my channel Cisco Django okay okay and then you can this is my video that a lot of video okay so you can learn from my channel uh, Cisco Django or you can help me to subscribe on this one okay you just click on this one you can uh, uh, See when my uh, upload the new video, you uh, the video is very uh, notification is allowed you when uh, something update you for my video. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching my video.